everyone welcome to today's tutorial so in this tutorial we're going to look at a question on sets yeah so the question says let the interval e be equal to negative infinity uh, to positive infinity be the universal set given that the set you the, the, the set intervals a negative infinity comma 5 b negative 2 comma 12 and c Four comma positive infinity are subsets of E. Uh, find each of the following sets. So these sets are simple and straightforward. You don't need to stress when solving such questions. So if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, click on the subscription button so that you don't miss out the videos that I'm going to be posting, and make sure that you also click on the notification. Uh, button and if you have any questions in math physics or chemistry feel free to contact me on my whatsapp line then we'll talk all right so let's quickly begin to solve the question all right so we've been given the universal set is uh, the set of real numbers which is just from negative infinity to positive infinity then we also have subsets a uh, b and c then they're asking us now to find what a complement is so a complement is simply just the elements that are not in a but they are in the universal set so a we know to say a itself so a is okay, let me just do this so a is known to be um so a is from negative infinity f is from negative infinity up to 5 so the other thing you need to understand about this question is the kind of brackets that are being used here so if we use this kind of a bracket which is uh, an open bracket uh, we we either close or I mean we either open it or close it like that it means that the number that is just right before that bracket is not part of the set so like this we're talking about numbers from negative infinity up to 5 but 5 is not part of set a so if we are talking about the complement uh, or before i talk about the complement let me first also talk about these kinds of brackets the square brackets so these square brackets symbolize that uh, if let's say we have two there comma three it means that two and three are part of the uh, this set this interval set here two and three are not part of the interval sets so if i do this two three it means that three is part of the set two is not part of the set if i do this it means that three is not part of the set but two is part of the set but uh, and the numbers between two and three are part of the set even here the numbers between two and three are part of the set numbers between two and three are part of the set even here the same thing applies all right so okay so let's uh let's now look at this question so a is equal to that so to find a complement uh we are simply talking about numbers that are not in a so if numbers from negative infinity up to five are part of set a it means that the number starting from five going to positive infinity are in the complement of a so five is not part of a because of the bracket that is there it means that it's part of the complement so the kind of a bracket we're going to put there is this one the square bracket but of course on the infinite whether negative or positive infinite the symbol is always open all right so let's quickly move on to the next one so the next one is C complement intersection B complement so first of all we're going to find independent sets which are C complement and B complement and then afterwards we come and find the intersection so what is C complement C itself is uh, from 4 to positive infinity meaning C complement will start from negative infinity and ending up to what up to 4 but since it's open at 4 since c is open at 4 it means that 
C is, um, I mean, 4 is not part of set C. So it's going to be part of uh, set C complement. Same applies to B. B is starting from negative 2 up to 12. So B is starting from negative 2 up to 12. So to find B complement, it means that we start from where the universal set is starting from. It's starting from negative infinity and then ending up to what? Positive infinity. But before we write the end of this um, universal set in our B complement, B is a subset of the universal set. So what we just need to do is to write the first number that we have there. So we'll start from negative infinity, then we write the first number that we have there, which is um, negative 2. But negative 2 is not part of the set because of the bracket which is there. Hence, we're going to put a square bracket there to show that it's part of the complement set. And then we're going to also open another set of brackets. 12 is not part of this set meaning it's part of the complement. So I'm going to write 12 here. So since 12 is part of the complement, I'm going to open this kind of a bracket. And then we say comma, w the end of the universal set is um, positive infinity. So if at, the, uh, if at this point we had 20, if we had 20 on the end of the universal set, I would have written 20 here. If we had, let's say, uh, 2 on, uh, uh, yeah, let me say negative 10 on the, beginning of the uh, uh, the universal set I would have written negative uh, that same number which I mentioned All right so let's uh, I mean you uh, the the once is the infinite symbol here always gets the open bracket All right so here addition of two sets is um, union so when you are combining two sets you simply use union then if there are common elements you use intersection Okay, let me just say, always use union. Yeah, it's better that way. When you're adding two sets. Right, so after doing this, you can now find the intersection set between C complement and B complement. So the easiest way to do, to do that is by using the number line. So if you use the number line, it will be easier. Uh, it will be as simple as drinking water. So I'm going to put my set C complement there, which is just um, from uh, 4. So I'm, I'm going to put my 4 there. I'm going to put 4 there and it's closed at 4. It's closed at 4, of course, going to the negative infinity. And then we also have um, B complement. B complement here, when you look at it, it's ranging from negative infinity to negative 2. So there is negative 2 there uh, to negative infinity. So it's also closed to there and then it continues to go this side. And then we can also look at the other part of uh, B complement, which is uh, starting from 12 uh, going to positive infinity. It's also shaded at 12 because it's a square bracket there. So if it's, um, if it's an open bracket that we have, we would have been leaving these, um, these dots open like this. Okay, so let us now see the the intersection meaning the common elements between C complement and um, B complement so the common elements that we have are simply just where A com I mean B, compl B complement and C complement are meeting so we have our C complement uh, I mean let me start with uh, C complement yes so our C complement is simply just this line on top there and then we also have this other line down which is for B complement which is also the same as this one. So where these lines are meeting, for instance here, this is where we have our intersection. So B complement intersection, um, starting with C, let me start, let me write it the way it is. Okay, so C complement intersection B complement is simply just equal to this part here which is just starting from what negative infinity ending up to negative 2 and it's closed at negative 2 so this is our intersection of c complement and b complement let's quickly do the last question so the last question we already have a so there's no need of us uh, finding a let us just find this part here so after finding this part 
then we can find okay for this one let me just say something on this one this one can also use de morgan's rule why you say this will be um this is going to be c union b and then complement the sign changes here and then you factor out the complement there so you can use this you still get the same answer so let's quickly uh look at this so um sets are also part of uh, full time mathematical questions so we use board mass so we're going to start with what is in the brackets so what is in the brackets is c complement union b complement which can also be solved using the morgans as c intersection b then complement so we first find c intersection b and then we find the complement of that so since c intersection b is what we look at the common elements between c and b what are the common elements so the common elements between c and b if you draw the number line you put your b your b is starting from what negative 2 up to 12 so this is my b and it's open on both ends it's open on both ends and then we also write our we also write our c so we also write our c c is from 4 up to positive infinity so c is starting from 4 open and then up to positive infinity going this side so the intersection set is simply the point where these lines are meeting so int intersection set is simply just 4 comma uh, 12 but because there there is an open circle here there's also another open circle there so you open the brackets that are there that, that, I mean on the on the verses on your answer and then from there we're trying to find this so we find c intersection b then we now find its complement so its complement is simply going to range from the starting point of the universal set which is negative infinity up to the first number there which is 4 but since 4 is not part of uh, c intersection b it, it means that it's going to be part of uh, c intersection b complement and we say union we start again another one 12 there then comma positive infinity so this is our c intersection b complement which is just this part here so now we know to say if you have let's say m minus n in mathematics the set difference can also be written as m intersection n complement what i mean is that if you have a minus b the set difference can also be written as a intersection b complement so same applies to what we have here so our a minus our c complement union b complement can also be written as a intersection um, c complement union b complement yeah so this is how you can write it but 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 of course there is also supposed to be a complement outside here because of this uh, method that i'm using so a intersection uh, a intersection c complement union b complement is now going to be found so we already have um Okay, we already have this. So the complement of this will still come back to this number there. Which is uh, C intersection B. Yeah, so I'm sure you get what I mean. So this is just the same as writing as A intersection. And then this part when we distribute the complement it's going to be c intersection b so this is just the same as finding the elements common between a and c intersection b so if we uh, realized earlier we would have first simplified this uh, expression to what we've just found there yeah so after simplifying that's when we can find the answer so after simplifying you discover that all oh, what i did here was unnecessary so yeah so all this was unnecessary so what was just needed is just this part this part here and a so we can now find the intersection set between a and c intersection b which is this number there i mean which is this set there 
so the common elements we can use the number line so i'll put my a where is my a a is starting from negative infinity up to what up to five this is my a and then um c intersection b is starting from where from 4 to 12 4 to 12 so it's uh, open on both ends so the common part here is the one that we're getting as our intersection so the solution to this equation i mean to this question is simply just uh, from 4 to 5 and they are open on both ends so the answer here is supposed to be open brackets 4 comma 5 all right so this is how simple sets are sometimes you can even be asked to show them on the number line exactly what i was doing here is what you're supposed to do all right so thank you very much for watching today's tutorial see you in the next tutorial video make sure that you subscribe to the channel if you have not yet done uh, that and um, if you have any questions in physics mathematics and chemistry feel free to contact me on any of these lines on the screen my name is Hamted. see you in the next tutorial video shalom shalom